Struggling with blood sugar levels, ready to shed those extra pounds effortlessly? Look no further. Sugar Defender, the number one rated blood sugar formula, is here to transform your health and help you achieve your wellness goals. Click the link in the video description to get started with Sugar Defender today. Photos of a football field covered in rubbish have sparked a heated debate on social media. The photos show plastic bottles, coffee cups, and cans scattered across the field at Pioneer Park in Malabar, located in Sydney's eastern suburbs, after a game. I'm down at Pioneer Park where you guys were given a great sporting ground to train on and play on, concerned local Glenn Mazze said on social media. Show a little respect and educate your kids and each other. Leaving sh asterisk t around the park is disgusting and dangerous to our pets and wildlife. Maybe Randwick City Council should monitor and ban or fine clubs or schools that leave trash behind. It's not that hard to care, Mr. Mazze said. He decided to pick up the rubbish himself and took it to an empty bin at the park. Many Aussies were not impressed with the litter bugs. This happens every winter when sports being played on the field, one explained. Last year there weren't any bins around, and this year there is possibly one, but if it's not close, they won't walk to throw the rubbish out. A third said, sadly, my dog ate there before I got to him, and he vomited twice, aluminium pieces. If you see someone littering, call them out on it, a fourth said. Another called for the Randwick City Council to run a waste and recycling campaign at the park. It's not a good look but it's an opportunity as well. Randwick City Council said dumping rubbish in public places is illegal and offenders may incur on-the-spot fines ranging from $750 up to $7,500 for individuals. Businesses can be fined up to $15,000. Not only is dumping aesthetically unpleasing, it often attracts more dumping as the pile of rubbish grows and then becomes a hazard as it blocks visibility in footpaths and attracts pests, the council said.